then we unmute and then we say hello 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 hi dave you okay I, I'm, not, I'm not too bad i'm good how are you i'm all right i'm all right i'm good um yeah nice like it's sunny like i i feel really bad shutting my blinds but i feel now especially that i've got a ring light if i left there's like a little path by my window and if i left that open you know would it, it get people you would in. distract their neighbors from there well yeah i don't know i just like there's something slightly weird about it just advertising <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know i don't know like maybe I, I should lean into it put the twitch url on the window right uh, yeah exactly exactly you know, yeah if i was really uh, hustling that's what you know that's what we do um yeah you'd have something like um you know if you think it looks good from the window check us out on twitch.tv that yeah would be hey imagine what are you missing come to twitch.tv <laughs> forward slash pearl baggins um yeah yeah so i have got a game dave this is a this is a grade a like this is such a good game oh man this game so earth love, defense love force the enthusiasm five yeah. um the fifth game in the series is, have you played all no this is the game. first one i've been very curious about these games for a long time um lots of people lots of game designers that i kind of respect have been saying they're really good um and one common thing people say about these games is they're so bad they're good and i think that's incredibly unfair these are good there's no bad like these are just really re this game is great um it's that so feels good. a bit like uh, your MO of late is is like taking games that you know people seem to be slightly raggy on, like tabs, like we did last yeah. last mm -hmm. time, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and actually, just saying, no, these are kind of great. Yeah, and and so so we're gonna so we're gonna start now. There is the story. So I I the story is, is the story. This I did not expect this. The story is really good. Um, in like in oh, I can't right okay right. Let's 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 just get into it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show you like the third mission um, because that's where things start, and I think you need to you need to come on this journey that I went on playing this. Okay. So this is what happens in the game. You start the game, the first mission, and um, you're basically a security guard assigned to a military base, and you're being okay. taken on a tour of this military base. It's the tutorial, and you're walking mm -hmm. around, and you're just a secure, you know, like. Almost like a parking attendant level of security guard, okay? And yeah, that's what that's uh, where I'd start at least. Anyway. Yeah, as as you're walking through, suddenly like like the guy the guy giving you the tour is like you know, oh oh the lights have gone off. Well, that's, that's strange. I'm sure it's just electrical problems. It's, there's no issue here. And then like at some point, a door opens and a big ant eats him. Um, <laughs> and then suddenly you are this kind of little like patrol like get you and is like civilian, come with us. We'll 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 save you. Um, and at some point they're like, civilian, take this gun. Have you ever used a gun before? Do you know how to use a gun? And then, then suddenly, then this is where we are, right? So, so you come out, uh -huh. we, we come out, we're getting attacked. And now, now, the, now so this is where I'm going to start. Like three missions in, we have all I, this is, this is, you know, I just, I'm just a security the guard. So now we're coming out. Uh -huh. These guys have helped me. What's going on? Oh my good lord. Okay. I'd like to hear your reactions, your unfiltered reactions as I go through this. <laughs> uh, so, uh, getting a strong Starship Troopers vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's a shooter. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, okay. I thought it was a super chill town builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of cross chatter. I'm guessing, like. Yes. And so th this is why I said to you before. Usually, you watch on Twitch and you can't hear the audio because otherwise you'd hear yourself and that would be nightmarish. Um, yeah. So. I said, you, you, I'm streaming this to you via Steam, um, and so you can hear the sound. The audio, the, 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 the chatter is great. Yeah. I love the... I, I, can see, I can see why it's got that so bad it's good vibe. I mean, like, the fact that you just kind of, like, walked into that first aid 
thing that was bigger yeah. than you were, and it just like disappeared. Brilliant. Crap! Can't believe that the powered exoskeleton can't be activated in such a crucial moment. Ah, oh, the, the, the exoskeletons—they can't be activated. Here come the aliens. Bloody acid, Dave. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Our combat yeah, I, there's a lot of talk about needing a commander, so you know it's like. Oh no! Is that going to be you? Um. Well, that's what I thought would happen. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the weird thing, right? Okay. Yeah. At the moment, no. I'm just a security guard, right? Because at the yeah. moment. Protect the powered exoskeleton. Um. So I have no idea what's going on. I'm definitely not in charge. So can I just quickly check? Do you know yeah. if those bugs are coming from those spaceships? Or are at, they... at this point, we have no idea. These, and, and Dave, they're not bugs. They're monsters. Monsters, um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I, I, I don't know why you call them bugs. Um, uh -huh. Like, so yeah, they're monsters. All we know is that they're monsters. Okay. And they're attacking. All we, know. we don't understand why. Anyone capable of moving must fight. Oh, I need to get all this help. Shoot. Shoot them! Don't let the monsters get any closer. Monsters. I kind of want someone to be just like, like loving it. Like there's plenty. There's plenty of people freaking out. I want to, I want someone just to be like humming a nice tune or something, you know? The thing. Okay, here's my long list. A whole uh, my my long list of things I love. Starting number one, everyone is just freaking out the whole game. <laughs> they are all just like monsters. Why are they monsters? Like. Okay, let me come back to that. Just uh, I going to say good evening, Dave. So yeah, good evening, Dave. Good evening, Dave. Um, so. Does that mean like there's no narrative development then? Do, do people just not get more and more used they, to they, it? They, well, they kind of. It's so there is totally and there is narrative development. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so any any like this is where I think that it's so bad it's good doesn't have much weight because the game knows it's ridiculous. This is a special <laughs> news flash. Okay. Um, there oh, so there's a news flash. There have been accounts of UFO sightings everywhere across the globe. And this time, the UFOs aren't just moving flashes of light caught on camera. According to eyewitnesses, they saw flying objects made of metal. For now, the identity of these objects remains unclear. Since there are reports of sightings coming from everywhere, it is speculated that there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. Incoming monsters! There are so many! Um... Yes. Monsters. Many monsters. You can confirm that. Yeah. So, it does... So, yeah, like... The story... Ooh. Exoskeletons. Here we go. Um, okay, another thing I love about this game. These mechs. Clearly, I'm going to get to drive one of these mechs at some point during the game, and it's showing me this right in the first couple of missions, which is okay, really yeah. pushing me forward. It's like, I want to get to the point where I unlock these. Like, I haven't, yeah? Uh, once yeah. we've done this mission, I'll go straight to the end. This is kind of, like, really a bit of a... Like, it's... Like, just look, look at how many bugs there are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those mechs are doing work. Yeah, they are. They're doing their thing. I mean, at this point, like, you know, I, I'm just the security you're guard. Helping. They're dealing with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're helping. Then do yourself down. You can, you can jump as well. Um, oh, nice. Can, yeah, yeah. So the controls are, are kind of interesting. Um, oh, are we done? Finally over. Yeah, okay, there we go. Right. So there we go. Clear the mission. Who are? Um, 
and then I would unlock stuff if I had done that for the first time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the game. Mm-hmm. It's it's a shooter. There is um, a bunch of classes as well. So like okay. there are four classes. It's got online co-op. I've only ever played the ranger. It's very clear on like, hey, play the ranger to start with. Just play with the ranger. Don't play any, like they all the others. Oh, oh wow. Hit my okay. Windows. All the others. It's just like, hey, this one is. Um, no, you can't. You can't handle this yet. <laughs> um, then there is equipment you unlock. So there's a bunch of weapons and different weapons. Ooh. Different hmm. different weapons work better in different situations, mm-hmm. I've found. I'm gonna look at, so, huh, it's a new one I haven't used. Just comparing it to... This one just seems really good. <laughs> like, so yeah. I'm going to stick with the one I quite like. There's equipment. Um, but let's get into the latest mission, and I think you'll be able to see a bit more of what's going on here. So, okay, so, so what happens... Uh, so, you know, like you leave, you eventually never, you know, you move through the city and, and kind of like continually fighting monsters and eventually you enlist. Um, and so now okay. I'm a full on ranger. I'm a sold. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm part of this. I'm not in charge yet. Yet, mysteriously, if I walk up to people with giant triangles above their head, they just start following orders. Um, so, <laughs> okay. you know, maybe I am in charge. Uh but yeah, so this is this is the the mission I've got. So this to. is mission of ni- nineteen. Do you have a sense of how many missions there are? Uh, this is mission. I think I've heard that there's mission. Like no, like no is the the answer. I think there's at least twenty nine okay. missions. Because I've heard. I, I, okay. I, I think yeah. Because I wanted to get a sense of if I could get to vehicles before the stream. So I was trying mm-hmm. to figure out like how. Um, Trying to figure out the monsters in this area. Like how long until it happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eden Nacho. How's it going? Of. Yes, sir! EDF! Good evening, EDF! Nacho. So this guy, um We are professional monster exterminators. <laughs> but don't let your guard down. You'll be dead if you get hit by the acid. Newbie, oh. do your best. Um professional monster exterminators, Dave. Okay, good. I feel I feel comfortable being in, in Operation failed. Target professional. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, some stuff. So these guys now. So this, there's a lot more to this than you might think. Um, yeah. So, ugh, <laughs> it's pretty chaotic. Um, so these guys have health. Um, and when I pick up, it took me a while to realise, and I only found out because I read it on a loading screen. Um, Classic, yeah. Yeah, is that if ugh, I grab health, it heals all of them as well. Uh, okay. So even I was like not grabbing it until I was low on health, and then that was meant all my guys were dying. I see, I see. Yeah. I had a very similar experience with that, like, loading screen value with Valheim yeah because I wasn't doing any like online research there was yeah. a ton Holy of stuff what? that we <laughs> what is that did anyone did I just did you see that oh god okay now I see it yeah yeah, yeah oh yeah. hello <laughs> okay Gone I need my rocket launcher um, right there Got a big Godzilla looks like area. it don't tell me it will pass through um, oh my god. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so it escalates. Citizens are in danger. You have to stall the enemy before the tanks arrive. Oh, okay, right. So- Okay, these guys need help. Attack Urgenus. No way out. But how cool does that thing look? It does look very good, yeah. The enemy is closing in, come on. I mean that that effect when it when it lands is kind of weird. It can't yeah. get your head around that. So I've got this rocket launcher that locks on. Um, 
which I quite like. <laughs> Look at it. The, um, I love the... how it's just like belly flopping. Like it's just like that's its move. It's like belly yeah. flopping. Oh god. Okay, I need some help. Um, so that when you sprint, you have a longer, like a bigger range for collecting items. So now if I run around these items, I can collect them a bit oh, easier. No. I'm wondering if this guy has weak spots, because those things on the front are kind of flashing. Oh, that's not uh, good. Uh, oh, what's he... Have you watched any Godzilla films? You know like what? Japanese ones. Kath, no, no. Kath made me rewatch the Matthew Broderick, like early '90s Godzilla recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's too. It's actually really long. So that's like yeah. two and a bit hours of my life I'm not getting back. That was. It was truly awful. The tanks will um, Hang on. Other than that, no, it's never really done much for me as a, like, a concept or as a franchise or whatever. I think I... Oh, God. I need that help. I need that help. That's, that's a lot of fish, yeah. Yeah, what a script. I mean, delivered by premium actors as well. Like, like A-list actors. Why it wasn't, you know, Oscar-nominated, I don't know. So how is the stream on Steam, Dave? Is it like, have you got, how is the lag? Is it a, is it better than Twitch? I, I might be a bit closer, yeah, but I yeah. actually think the picture's worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like much worse. Um, I think Twitch looks much better. This is full leader. I also don't get to see you. Ah. Which is a real shame. Yeah. We well, can always open Twitch off and just have the audio from the stream, can you? Oh, tanks are it. Okay. That probably makes the most sense. Although, uh, like, I am. I think it's more. I'm not out of sync with you as quite so much on Steam. Yeah. Okay. The tanks just arrived. Okay, tanks Infantry, are here. Fall back behind the tanks. So the yeah. So like things. This game. Oh my God. No, 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 One thing, okay, one thing. I got it. I was just about to say good things about the game, and then, like, I get stomped on. Um, I think I've kind of got the wrong... I, I need different weapons for that. Mm -hmm. um, I still got items, even though I failed. Um, so some things it does really well, which I really like... Um, the way it introduces things like it's um i guess like i was thinking that it's probably a very japanese approach to game design because things okay. like it it's not afraid to take its time is that fair to say that's kind of a like i don't know like i feel like i would i wouldn't feel comfortable saying i to, just to be honest because yeah. other than square enix games yeah mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't say i've played a lot of japanese games is that, is that um, weird to, no i guess no that, that's kind of odd <laughs> so i'm thinking like metal gear solid for me would be oh. like a uh de kind of death stranding i guess um but like i i feel like oh, i need something that's like what can i use I don't need the lock-on missile launcher. Maybe a grenade launcher? It's damage 104. Mm, let's do the grenade launcher. I'm going to try a grenade launcher. Um, maybe a support equipment. Let's get some better armor. Um, yeah, like, I, I suppose I think of... 
like I just I, I always kind of associate Japanese games being quite long. Mm. Um like Mario, like 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 uh Yeah, Zelda as well, right? Yeah. Like, like just introducing so it introduces like new enemies really like it 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 does has this kind of almost like rules of three where it, it kind of introduces a new enemy, gives you a few teaches you about that over three levels and then adds it together with something you already know. It's it, exterminate and it, the monsters in this area. It, it's just really well paced. Um mm. The monsters are nothing to be afraid of. Yes, yes sir! EDF! EDF! Newbie, do your best. I guess when when your core gameplay loop is so we simple yet so satisfying for so many players, your you can kind of yeah. take, you take your asshole. time, right? Like, yeah. Because you know your players just are enjoying doing what they want to do, which is presumably just shoot monsters in this. Yeah. Yeah. This is K6. Um, Operation failed. Target escaped. I repeat. Operation failed. Target like I, I just. Oh man. That was a bad thing to do. Just shot myself. Um. Yeah, like Max Mac said, like Metal Gear Solid games. It's like, monster, yeah, yeah. Is on the run. This area is on top of the escape route. What did you say? But I mean, that's interesting, Dave, talk about Western gaming and then you know, no patience and stuff like that. But I, I do think, yeah, I, I wonder why that is when, like. If players are enjoying themselves, like like Sean is, just shooting the same monsters that he's shot, he's been shooting at the last 18 missions, largely, right? Apart from yeah. the big guy. Like, you don't you don't need to be doing anything super exciting, do you? Like, you're enjoying the core game. Are you trying to say this isn't super exciting? Well, I mean, I I think it is. Yeah, like yeah. obviously, like the big, the big, the big um, Godzilla size stuff, like mixes it up quite a lot. But yeah, uh, yeah, I just you just have to enjoy shooting stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Then, like, great. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't prepared for like how. Um, oh man. I wasn't prepared for how different the different aliens, I think, I mean, the different monsters, mm. like, were. Um, like, like I said, this is the first time I've seen Godzilla. Like, um, oh, jeez. That's a good point about the, like, you know, original Dungeon Keeper as, a, as an example, and how um, kind of influences the streamers, maybe kind of being taken into account with their game development. Obviously, we do that a little bit, but we're pretty limited in terms of like how we can really make those changes. Yeah. But it's something that occurred to us, right? like, what, like how our streamers oh can stream our games, stuff like that. Yeah. Jump. One thing. Ah, oh, jump. So if we're thinking about it, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Other places. Absolutely. But I'm intrigued about that, like, really what what effect that does actually have. Like, in terms of, like, people m misjudging what streamers and influencers actually want. Right? Because that's not a set thing. Yeah. Like, I, I, obviously, I watch a lot of card games on streams and things like that, and, like, you couldn't get a more static experience than a card game in many respects. Mm -hmm. And yet, like, people love watching them being streamed. It's been an interesting week, like, so it's interesting to kind of, like, Dave Soft says about the world that they're the, the making it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that guy. Um... Uh, no, this guy is too scary. Like, run up. Ah, oh, okay. Um, so, like, I really enjoy it. So, I don't know if, if, like, how many people follow, like, Giant Bomb, but, like, three of the kind of main original guys in Giant Bomb left this last weekend, or, like, left Giant Bomb. And, like, something that I think Giant Bomb did really well for me was it felt like they were just people playing games and without all the work, you know, like, the, the reactions and stuff. 
Um, so it, yeah, it does sometimes feel like you're. Oh man. That was a bold move running into that. <laughs> yeah, I need help. Like, I need to get to these tanks and like. Oh, they, these guys are red. I can get them to help me. And by help, I mean like hopefully get the get that dude to shoot at them rather than me. Um, oh my god! I did god. see all that in jam, the jam bomb stuff just because like my my Twitter timeline was just covered in it. Yeah. Um, but I, I like obviously I don't I don't follow that stuff so I didn't really know what yeah. was going on. I got that people were leaving, but I didn't really understand the full significance of that. Yeah. So I was meaning to ask you about the like stream. Yeah, it's it yeah, um so people have left Giant Bomb before, right? But these this Yeah, this presumably... is like three of the founding members leaving. Um like but not no, they weren't founding members, like but three really core like Old. There's not many people like these are game reviewers who I listen to and watch oh. <laughs> that I watched when I was at university in my first you know like I've been watching those guys review games for as long as you know for as long as I've been watching people review games you know yeah pretty much mm -hmm. on the internet anyway I mean Dominic Diamond I was watching but like nice uh, <laughs> yeah yeah this guy this, this Oh, but look, I like the the spectacle of this game is what it, what it does so well. Like look at the look at this environment. Like oh man, I might have to go back and show you some earlier missions if I can't do this. So and and that's the other thing. I I'm surprised how many times I've got to a mission, and like I've really had to think about how to approach it, um, mm. and like just failed. Like yeah. So do you, you don't have any hot takes on the whole giant bomb thing? I like it. But also, like, I want to know how it, you feel about it. Like, how does um, it make you feel? Uh, so, like, weirdly, like, emotional at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, like mm -hmm. it, like, like, I mean, I think, like, me and Joe watch giant bomb every, like, weekend breakfast. Mm -hmm. And have done for a while. Should I try that one again? Or should I show you another mission? Um, it's not entirely up to you, buddy. Uh, let's do. I'm going to show you this one. Destroy the giant ship. Um, oh, I need to change my equipment for this one. Um, yeah, no, just like really, I don't know. It's just like I think they, I, I don't know. Like, like they, there's no really takes other than it's kind of like amazing they've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So, alright, let's go start mission. <laughs> it was I, such a weird choice to make it Patrick yeah, Moore. I was like, I always, know, every so often I'm like, that was Patrick Moore. <laughs> um, Do you know if, if Patrick Moore was a gamer or if he was just like, this is just another gig? But, like, what, like, he was a, like, he wasn't a TV Is presenter necessarily, was he? Well, like, well, he did the Sky at Night, didn't he? Which yeah. I believe was like, on TV. Mm. Yeah. But you're right, like, why... Why, why him? Yeah. Right, okay, so now... The, okay, this this mission, like, we have to... We're supposed to destroy this big mothership thing. Yeah. And it has a nice mix of... This is what I was saying by, like... The game has been introducing, at this point, introducing lots of very, like, new enemy types. Um... So these things are like drones, and there's kind of a stealth element to it. When they're blue like this, they don't know I'm here. <laughs> but when they see it, they kind of can communicate to each other. And so there's like you can try and be a bit stealthy with it. Um, but you know they're also mixing it up now with the monsters. So. The air force must have failed. Or else it wouldn't be our turn. The other thing, like, the slice about it, if you listen to the chatter, how, like, yeah. they're all like, oh, the Air Force aren't doing their job. It's all up to us. Um, it's just, yeah. Well, okay, so, as they say, you know, fleet plus the flying. Yeah. What were they, what were they, was, it, was it infantry do the dying? Is it infantry? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Please do the fine, you do the dying. Um, what is it called in Starship? I only watch Starship. I watched Starship Troopers on my birthday. Um, nice. Head straight to the central block. Uh, gonna Google it while you're shooting Infantry, stay close to the AFVs. The car Monsters. fire will help us to move up. Uh-huh. Um. Oh no! I just saw aliens! I can't believe they're real! Nah, he just saw aliens, Dave. Hell? We've been fighting those outer space monsters all he this time. He only just saw them. them. Yeah. yeah. I'm not talking about monsters! I'm talking about humanoid aliens! Mobile infantry. Yeah. MI does the dying fleet just doesn't die. Oh, we have a reported sighting of humanoid aliens. Humanoid aliens? Extraterrestrial beings. Maybe they're not so different from us. Look like humans. One head, two eyes, with hands and feet. Bipedal. But it kind of does. It, it, it does make sense because, like, those ants don't look like they could kill the ship. That's true. Yeah, yeah, probably not. You're probably right. Um, okay, we've got all the monsters and the drones. So when they did when they filmed Game Master, was yeah. he there live reacting to stuff? I can't remember. Like, or was no, it just he was all pre-recorded, wasn't he? I don't know. Didn't he re react to what happened? Something's approaching. I feel like I feel like no. Like I feel like it was always cut to Patrick Moore's flowing head. Mm -hmm. What are those? Okay, Dave, are you ready for these? What are these? They're flying in the air! Yeah, what are these? Yes, sir. Sensor is responding. End of chit chat. Let's go. Yes, sir. Take this. Oh, there's a health over there. Oh, here we go. Something is descending from the flying ship. I can't believe it. They're aliens. Aliens are descending from the flying ship. So that is the enemy's landing ship. It's aliens. What? The aliens have a lot of aids. Okay. Well, they're big. They are big. Fire! Fire! <laughs> what? God. The alien infantry is here. So, yeah, yeah, and now these guys like are are interesting and like because what happens is like here we're kind of just fighting them, but then you do a mission that's almost like a stealth mission where they teach you that these guys don't see you unless they see you, right? Like so, you can. Oh man, I'm dying. They look like they're talking. So they have their own language. Just so you can like stealth your way through missions. Okay. Um, think, okay. They just they look just the like humans. Is not really what I was thinking. Real units. Yeah. Commence the attack on those aliens. I've never killed anyone. I can't do this. It's either you or them. Is he just me? What's going on? Um. They also, you can like shoot their arms off and stuff, and that means they can't shoot. Oh no. Oh boy. Um, so the controls has this really, I don't know what everyone else thinks about this, but like, um, to, to sprint, you have to push down on the left stick. And I can never yes. keep the left stick pushed down while I'm pushing forward. Hmm. I think there is a uh, co op in there, isn't there? Yes, there is. There's oh, split screen awesome. and online co op. Which I think is possibly new to this one. What? No. But I'm, I could be wrong about that. Oh, there's one dude left. 
Oh, so I didn't need help. They are firing at us! Crossfire! Ah! All aliens on the ground have been exterminated. Good job. There we go. Looks like the sensor. The enemy... There are more in the air! Oh god, there's more. Alien landing ships! <laughs> the game also will just take the camera away from your control at any point to show you something, and the, but the game is still going on. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I find the sprint. So the, the sprint is—it's like you have to hold it, and it's not. I just keep messing up. Oh God. They've landed. It's a whole army. Oh, I remember. Okay. Retreat. No, it's too late. So that was kind of a scripted thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, at the end there. Ooh. So you again, like a bit of a, I guess, a kind of Japanese. Well, I think maybe slightly unfair saying this is just Japanese, but like. Clearly, you can mine, you can like grind, grind early missions levels, because yeah. now I've got new stuff. So, like, I've got a new missile launcher, which might help me against that. A missile launcher that fires 15 small missiles um, at once. It can only lock on one on to one target at a time with its mobile missiles. So this reason, it can inflict a lot of damage on a single target. That sounds good. That to sounds me. like something that I might used to do something an anti-aircraft impulse um a directional landmine customized for use aircraft both the ejection tube for the ball bearings and the enemy detection sensor point diagonally upwards um oh that's cool let's try let's, let's let's take on godzilla again um so let's see, try this stuff maybe i'll try a different class as well at some point um Yeah, new... presumably they make quite a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they kind of... Ooh, that does look good. They, there's definitely a lot of suggestion that it does, like... There's a lot of suggestion that those other things are harder and have different controls and, like... Um, so... But... I don't know. Who knows? Um, I guess. There's also a bunch of different difficulty... Oh, also there's friendly fire. I didn't say... So like what? like yeah 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 so like like I, I can kill my own guys. <laughs> can they shoot you? I don't know, um, but I definitely accidentally killed my own people. Not good. I mean Not that good. doesn't surprise me, but. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've been really enjoying. I've been like playing this again. This has been a game I've been playing like downstairs. Commence operation. Uh, oh, cool! Look at that. The monsters are nothing to be afraid of. Yes, yes sir. Um, yeah, I've been like, it's been a really good game to just like unwind and play. We are professional monster exterminators, but don't. Uh, well, if that's, I guess that's <laughs> yeah, kind of funny. For, like, wind like, up. It doesn't seem like a game to unwind to. Like, it, yeah. it's quite hectic. There's a lot of noise all the time. Yeah. I'm not feeling very relaxed, but I'm glad that you are while you're playing. Target escaped. I repeat, operation failed. Target is on the run. Good. I think it's one of the best action games I've played in such a long time. Urgent is on the run. Like I, th I think maybe it's part of like we often talk or like we were on that podcast. Do you remember we were on that podcast and like? One of the people said, like, um, not not tanked up, but um, the extra one. Arcade Vaults? Like students... No, not Arcade Vaults. The other one we went on recently. Okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. 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 So um, they kind of said, oh, do you... They, they said, oh, do, do you think AAA games are like... Why are AAA games stale or boring or something? Was the question. Getting and a we, little stale, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we just went, oh, what the heck is the camera doing? Oh, uh, okay, the camera was pointing to the, to the Godzilla that just arrived. Um, oh god yeah so I did, yeah like, like I just find this this is just this more interesting to me because it's just 
indigenous will indeed like pass bonkers. through this area. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Don't yeah. yeah. I, could, I could see it's that. Oh, I can see, there he is. Or she, or like, I don't know. Well, yeah, Godzilla was female in the Matthew Broderick, but then was able to reproduce on his own, so asexual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life finds a way, huh? Yeah, exactly. Um. So I was right, okay, right. I, Joe couldn't explain this to me. Hmm. So we've been watching Mythbusters, and there was a Mythbusters episode where they blew, they, they met, did an explosion in a quarry lake. And right. and like they were like, oh, it's a quarry lake, so there won't be any fish. And she was like, there's totally going to be fish in there. How did the fish get there? Like, how do fish get into a body of water before, like... It's not connected to another body of water. Yeah. Hmm. Good question. If only there was like a way of simulating that in like some kind of computer environment. Yeah. I fully understand. Am I doing more damage to this guy? That's the question. If I keep walking backwards, he, he won't be able to do anything about it, right? Oh my god. Does it bother you that there's no like no obvious health bar on these things or anything like that? Uh, no, I think I like I like that. Oh boy, what do I do? Just okay, right? Okay, so if I just don't do anything when he does that, I can just run over me. Just... Maybe. I, I do think the graphics of this game are deceptively good. Uh huh. Like if that makes sense. Like I think they're a lot better than. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like. You think it's like bad graphics done well so they become good maybe stylized yeah, yeah maybe that yeah. right underneath oh no that doesn't work <laughs> right. there must be some health somewhere that guy got it I still think there is a bit of a delay on Steam. Yeah. Yeah, there probably is. Like, but at least I can hear. I don't have to listen to my voice. Yeah. Oh, Did I? No. Right. Okay. Oh, health, 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 health. So I think oh. I don't know what to do with like this what do I do? No idea. I mean it does look like you're doing more damage than you were before. Yeah. Oh, okay, right, I dodged him. That's I just turned up to be the security guard. The tanks will arrive momentarily. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, this isn't good. Right, there we go. I guess once he starts running there, he can't... Where are the tanks? Where are the tanks? He does seem to drop health, which is good. Consider of him, yeah. Yeah. Like, and also, I haven't figured out what... I, I haven't really figured out... What... Is he dying? No, I haven't figured out what the non-health pickups do. There's like armor and um, there's like, like armor weapon. and weapon, and I don't know what you know what they do. Oh, I'm <laughs> You're too 19 close. Nineteen missions in, and you don't know what those do. No, they don't seem to do anything because they seem to have unlimited ammo. I wonder if that, like, but well, like I said, I did only figure out through the loading screen that health also heals your own guys, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, okay, he's attacking the tanks, that's good. If they're not ammo, one assumes that they buff your weapon. This is bull leader. Enemy I'd cover. make it do more damage. Yeah. Understood. Commence attack. Oh yeah, we got cavalry here. Support the infantry. Protect the tanks. 
That is such a cool effect. Yeah, I think like Max said, it's about it's how much they fit on a screen that makes mm -hmm. it look better. Because Just circling back to the giant bomb stuff briefly, presumably these people leaving isn't going to stop you consuming giant bomb content. No, but I, I think it was so like giant bomb got bought by, um, well, CNET got brought by Red Venture. How can a creature make an attack um, like that? And like CNET owns giant bomb, so they bought it. And like when that happened, like quite a few people started leaving. Um, mm -hmm. And so I think there's a lot of kind of concern maybe. That that meant it was the end of Dragon Ball. Like, but I think it's very clear it's not. Um, I don't. Yeah, it's it's just. I think it's a uh, like it. Like I think. It, I guess it's the nature of, of of that stuff. Of like I've been watching those people for like, God, like you know, thirteen years. And so it's and that the, they do kind of really personality driven stuff. Um, yeah. And. Yeah, it's just it's it's like it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's a change, and I think sometimes that's yeah. I don't know. Like genuinely, like they like watching their podcasts and stuff has been has definitely helped me through the pandemic. You know, sure. Um, so, but yeah, they'll go on to do good stuff, and the Giant Bomb's going to get continue to be weird and and, and good. So I'm sure. Oh, this is a fight. <laughs> it, it, what's also interesting is there doesn't seem to be any like phases for the monster. There are phases for you, you and like yeah. your side, but he's not like changing his moves yeah. that much. Is it? It's almost like reversed it, right? So do you have um, any kind of like YouTubers and stuff you watch regularly? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I, wa I, so I, I do watch a fair bit of Hearthstone com uh, competitive stuff. Um, so that's usually the main, the actual main uh, tournament yeah. uh, YouTube channel for them. But in, in, in this side of things, I like more like Giant Bomb, I suppose. I, I do watch uh, the Honest Wargamer or yeah. the, the Games Workshop stuff. I can't believe that our attacks um, didn't so I watch that uh, force is from time to time. It's often a lot like a podcast, though, even though it's on YouTube. Yeah. Um, some painting stuff as well. But yeah, yeah, not, not a huge amount of regular. Mm -hmm. Um, I think also you get to know like people and you know what they like and you know kind of like oh this person likes this but like I'm probably not or, or like just because someone says they don't like something you know the kind of things they like so you get a sense of what that means to you like how similar your tastes are or whatever um, yeah yeah, I think, yeah, Total Biscuit, like Max saying, is, 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 is you know, was, was, like, I, I think also, like, as well, like, in, in a similar way, a Total Biscuit, um, oh, someone's come in, some new, um, kind of like with Total Biscuit, like, I know it's a dumb, it's probably dumb, but, like, I, I still, every time I make a settings menu, I think, what is Total Biscuit, went into this settings menu, what would he say, you know? Uh, uh, uh. Um, and similarly, like like the thing I loved about Giant Bomb is every week they would just play random small games they found on Steam. So there was always like that, you know, like, like, like 
that's one thing that won't happen. Like, like I was always like, oh, that would be such an achievement. And if, if, you know, maybe, you know, because it's not going to end. But, you know, I... I think it's like, it, I think it's super interesting how, how how it feels like you know these people. And of course you yeah. don't, you don't know, you know, know them at all, but you, you get familiar with them in a way that's quite specific. Yeah. Um, and feels very easy, but obviously yeah. is completely not. Uh, like, I guess that's the whole facet of online community, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just as a, I realise that the sound is getting intense, if anyone's struggling to hear me or Dave, let me know. I'll turn the sound down, the game audio, but yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'm struggling to hear you. I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm, gonna I, I'm struggling to hear you, so I'm gonna do the same. Um, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I think that's the weird. It feels weird. Like you. It's. Like. It, is there anything other than internet where that's been a thing? Where you feel like you know people, but you obviously don't. Yeah, of course. Like, I would, you know, like every medium, right? Like film, TV, radio, whatever. Like, you, you, you know, sometimes that's fictional characters, but it can easily not be fictional. It can be non-fiction. Mm -hmm. um, where you're, you think you know these people because you've spent your time with them, but they haven't spent their time necessarily with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's obviously a bit one direction. I suppose the internet has allowed a bit more interactivity, like you can talk to chat and, yeah. um, you know, and, and people do try and like make that interact interaction a little bit more two directional. But it's still largely predicated on it being one directional and like you turn up to giant bomb they don't yeah. turn you know because mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. of what they do they don't like let you into that community because of what you do like there's no like unless i'm missing examples of this and there might well be but there's no uh there's no barrier for yeah. you to prove like your interest or your worth or your connectivity just no like you can just turn up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um i think the other I, but also it's like having i think something like it's having a community that you understand like for me particularly with with them or the people particularly the people who've left is they're they are like you know they're of an age they're older than me like only just older than me and older than us and so like I feel can understand what it's like to play games when you have a job mm -hmm. um, and people will say oh well they play games for a living it's like well it's not they don't really like they, they do but like that's part of what they do and they still like us struggle with like they've got families and stuff and so being able to know that you've got someone who sees games through that lens and can say oh yeah this game is great but the problem is it's 80 hours long so like you know that's an issue Mm -hmm. um, and then that felt like that kind of community like it's it's about like it, it's it's all community building it's, it's really i think it's interesting and like um you know they build a community and then like they're building community around them yes yeah but then like are they part of that community or like how does that work like, you know i mean you okay. yeah you i'm not i'm not saying this in uh to be Kind of inflammatory or anything but like it kind of becomes cultish doesn't it like yeah uh, mm -hmm. either in that extreme sense or even just a more of a cult of personality yeah uh like and and often those those communities do not survive the loss of those personalities yeah so mm -hmm. i guess that's why i was asking like will you continue to watch giant bomb stuff yeah despite mm -hmm. these guys not being uh, a part of that yes yeah, I mean, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's like it's like three people out of however many, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, you did uh, it! I did nice. it. Um, so, do you think the 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 weapon choice was clutch, or was it more just survivability? I think that weapon was 
Well, maybe I I don't know. Like I, I it's because I changed two variables. Um, <laughs> yeah, two, two shit. Yeah, uh, so I, I, I but um, I think so. I think the the weapon was specifically like to to do big damage to a single. Like it sounded like oh yeah, that's the one they want you to use for the. Yeah, you know. Um, so should I try try some different weapons or? Uh, whatever you feel, dudes. Uh, yeah. to, presumably, you've now unlocked a new mission that you haven't seen before. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I thought we'd. Uh, I quite like that one. I do feel sometimes like the weapons are a bit overpowered, but there was I got like some experimental weapon. Uh, but I, oh no, that was for a different class. Um, uh, it's a lot of like quite different weapon options, or at least they appear to be quite different. Yeah, yeah, it it really like that's the thing is like I think um, <laughs> mission complete. Return to base along the shore. Safe journey. This is going to be fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think there's like I said. I I think there's a lot of depth. A lot of depth in this game, and I and I, that's why I don't think this is so bad. It's good, gives it enough credit. Um, it's a worrying amount of firepower you've got with you, that is. Yeah, this definitely looks like a Metal Gear Rex. The power. Oh, someone thought he heard something. Oh, here we go. I also love the kind of like not many frames of animation in the ants. <laughs> I like that guy. They're red ones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're just like shooting into each other's backs. So the red ones are bad, by the way. Like, like, they're, they're, they're like the they're worse than the grey ones, the red ones. Uh -huh. um, I think they're Obviously. called betas. Um, oh boy! Oh god! <laughs> I'm, I'm like in the middle of. Oh no! So they bite you <laughs> and throw you <laughs> as well. You can still shoot them while that you're in their mouth. Which I learned on a loading screen. <laughs> Have you been playing any more of the the Dorf Dorf Romantic? Dorf, Dorf Romantic. Romantic. I haven't though, actually. No, I haven't. Have you? Uh, I played. Yeah, I did play. I just randomly. It's quite a nice, like, game to play while you're waiting for other people to come online and play a more kind of like different game. <laughs> sure. Do you know what I mean? Like, I and do, so, because they don't have to talk. You, know, oh, you don't have to think. Really, but you have to, well, you can have to think, but it's really low. You can have a conversation with someone and play it. Um, yeah. yeah. Which I kind of can with this, but it's like as long as the sound is turned down. Um, oh, did we just do that? No, yeah, there was an odd lag there, wasn't there? Um, yeah, like. I don't know. I, I I understand because uh, like I like I found that with with risk of rain to 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 some extent where you just kind of get into that fairly chill flow state state despite the fact what you're doing is quite intense. Yeah. Compared to something like Dwarf Romantic. Mm. So odd odd question then, Sean. While we've got a, a slight lull. Are there yep. any like design choices, decisions, or lessons to be learned you feel from from this game? Um, 
uh, just in general or like specific? Oh god, we're shooting onto the beach. This isn't good. The beach. No, this is like. That's where they came from that's, initially. Yeah, well, a that's where you came from, and b I can't swim. There's like, nowhere to go. Yeah. There's nowhere to go. That that's like. Um. So do you mean in general or like specifically for us or either? Uh, let's start with us and then broaden it out a little bit. Um. I guess the pacing, is, I guess just because pacing is something that's been on my... Look at that. How cool does this look? Um, like, it's the pacing uh, of it, I guess. Uh-huh. Like, uh, and how the way it introduces new concepts quite slowly. Um, but I guess that relies on you being uh, being really enjoying the core loop. Um, yeah. And to be honest, I don't know why the core loop is so enjoyable. I, I couldn't tell you. Like, it just feels. I think it, it is the spectacle, um, is what's going on here. Um, I think. It's like, okay. much like Dwarf Romantic, there's just like the right level of gaminess. Or, or like mm. the, the systems. Like, there's. Like, you know, these ridiculous. You know, the ammo things to collect and. Oh god. There is some complexity with, like, the. the the weapons um <clears throat> so yeah i guess that that's the main thing that stands out for me um okay. <clears throat> it's arcade yeah it's 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 an it feels like it this feels almost more like a game like geometry wars than anything else you know it almost okay. feels like bullet heli like that that gives me that kind of vibe um, sure um That like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I guess there's something to learn maybe about the graphic. It's not game design, but like the, I, I, I think the thing that's interesting, to, I guess, is the number of all the stuff on screen, right? It's yeah. how many things you see, and that I really like that sort of thing. Um, um, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Even more. The story is, and again, the weirdly enough, the story is what's keeping me is, is one of the things keeping me going through, as well. Okay. Yeah. I would say, as ridiculous as it is. Well, I like I like the idea that they got you invested because by having you as a low level employee to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was in, that is. This is one where I've got the wrong. What on earth is? I've definitely got the wrong weapons for this one. I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're getting. There's like the air force are doing something. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, cool. Not gonna lie, but those uh, those wing characters—they're uh, their voice is kind of annoying. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's one of the Where classes you can going. be. Huh. Yeah. Hey. There, there is a bunch of that. Um, like, Joe is getting particularly annoyed by these civilians when you do that. There's like lots of very screamy civilians who are still okay. just freaking out about monsters. Um, <laughs> Just deal with it, everyone. Yeah, it's like, come on. <laughs> We're on mission 10 by oh, now. Like, you know, chill yeah, out. yeah. It's been like six months. Like, come on. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, carriers. Submarine carriers? And they are waiting patiently under the sea. As long as we have Siren, Pandora, and Epimetheus at our disposal, we can still put so, up a fight. So there is a, there was a very clear suggestion early on that there are like ten big motherships you have we have to destroy. Okay. So far, I haven't destroyed one. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I, there could be a lot of levels. They, they could be. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> Uh, there's no one else. Where... Oh, this doesn't look good. This is bad. 
Look at you got three submarine carriers coming in. Yeah, where are they then? Like Well they're obviously in the water. Yeah, there we go, you're in the right place. Oh this is not this is Oh yeah, Okay, this actually might help me. Your way out of this one, dude. Yeah. Like, where are the tanks? So I, yeah, I can, oh my god. Dave's off saying low stress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need those carrier stats. Yeah, like, I, mean, I think I probably have to. Blast this thing. You, like, you're pretty hardy, to be fair, like, con compared yeah. to the other guys. Circle around. Oh, I'm reloading. This doesn't look like. Oh, maybe. Oh, hello. But this feels like this is working now. As soon as I reload, they get me. Oh. I keep forgetting when I'm grabbed, I need to shoot. Just... <laughs> oh no. You need to try and get back to some of that health that they've dropped. Yeah. It's somewhere in this mess is is health oh health 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 health, health. No. oh i'm at the edge come on i just can't run like i just i can't ever get the right like pushing down on the control stick it just like Oh, yes! <laughs> it threw me into one. Now we, here we go. The air raid made it in time. Yes. Although the air raid made it in time. What? Like, I did... Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've actually survived and killed... I don't like how... Yeah, it was I, the air force, no idea how many it? there were. Like, 20? Yeah, just... Yeah, thanks. Several survivors, like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of it. I'm kind of scared to try another class, but. <clears throat> I'll do one more. Um, do you want to see another class, or? Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, yeah, let's okay. see another class. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what should we try? Um, so we've got the wing divers, which are the ones that, that was, like you said, sounded annoying. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I don't want. I don't want to see yeah, that. Yeah. There's the air raider, a tactical soldier equipped with a communication system. Oh, it's to work with the air force to do stuff. That's. Well, there's the fencer, which is a heavily armored soldier, fully equipped with powerful exoskeleton. Um, yeah. Why wouldn't you be a fencer? Yeah. Let's, let's be the fencer. Um, so, deflection, hand Gatling gun, deflection shield. Okay. Mirror shield sounds good. Last hole. Sp um, support equipment. Empty. Empty. Right. Let's pick. Let's have a go. So, yeah, the co-op, then you would be able to um, pick. Obviously. Like, you, you, yeah. you'd each have a different class. And... You'd, 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 you'd yeah. sculpt your squad. Mm-hmm. This might be a lot of figuring out what the controls are. Oh, like it's now showing you ranges. Like, yeah, now it tells forget. me. How... Only we, the Spriggan, can complete this mission. Okay. Oh god, this guy is. The enemy didn't see us. Get close. Slow. And uh, yeah, I assumed yes, that from all the armor. Yeah. You silent mod. Oh, there's a. G okay, there's. It's these guys. Um, so 
so I guess I can't jump. Maybe, maybe this wasn't the best fencer mission. Oh, now I can jump. I can jump. Okay, that does some kind of like, so I can jump. Oh, I've got like rockets or something. Nice. The right Gatling gun. Oh no, the, yeah, that does. So I've got a shield. Okay. I need to go and recruit these guys. So the the aliens like actually talk as well, so you can hear them. Yeah, she calls you a newbie. So I don't know if this. So I can hold this shield up. I guess it does something. Wow, it's a wide spread on that Gatling gun. Yeah. And it's a long reload. And it just like... You just end up going up. I think this mission will be painful with this fast. <laughs> yeah, it might not be yeah. the right one. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Hmm. Well... How about uh, we, we, we call it there? Because um, these missions can be a bit long. Um, should we call it there? Should we say that? Okay, that's yeah, after you did, yeah, yeah, cool. you. yeah, it's it. I think, like, I really like. What do you think? Like, what, what, what are your kind of thoughts? Um, I, I don't think I would get into it yeah. personally. Mm -hmm. um, I think for me. Uh, the core gameplay loop is a little bit too straightforward shooty. That's yeah. just mm -hmm. like, like I was surprised how into Risk of Rain 2 I got. Mm -hmm. And I ha and it's very telling I haven't played a game that involves shooting since. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, like, I guess just it's just not the kind of genre I play. So I find myself gravitating yeah. towards. Mm -hmm. But uh, having said that, I can see why people who do enjoy that Kind of core gameplay loop a bit more uh would would enjoy this it looks like there's a lot of depth there mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. between the equipment and the different classes and uh and i guess actually you you know even in the three or four missions you showed us tonight quite a lot of variety in that too yeah um like yeah if there yeah. are a lot of waves but yeah mm -hmm. yeah quite a lot of mm -hmm. variety i mean so, may, I, like i was very surprised when you said they're like stealth missions yes so i think that one that this surprise attack at night is a stealth mission Mm -hmm. um potentially um yeah no, it's, it, I, I i've been really enjoying it i will almost certainly stick with it um probably until the end it's just low it's low it just feels like low stakes which is quite nice um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah awesome well thanks dave thanks. um and thanks everyone for Cheers, sean. um where yeah, can people find us sean they can find us on pillbug.zone they should click happy internet buttons wherever they happen to be um, and join us every Tuesday for a stream. Uh, catch you all later. And Bye. I need alt, alt tab to do this. Nice. This is one of those games where it gets rid of my cursor, so it's like really hard to do. Super uh, helpful games. Yeah. Catch you later.